the next experiment we are going to do is regarding light so what is light light is an electromagnetic radiation that helps us to see things by stimulating the sense of sight now this light which we see is also called visible light and you already know light travels in a straight line and you know that light doesn't need a medium to travel so light can travel even in vacuum now in this experiment we are going to learn about one particular property of light it is called refraction what is refraction the simple definition is refraction is the bending of light bending of light when it passes from one medium to another for example if you pass light only through one medium only through the air medium it will travel in the straight line however if you place another medium inside for example if you are placing a glass slab in between so now the medium is changed so when there is a change in the medium there is a change in the density so because of this the light will bend so that is what we are going to see in these experiments so shall we begin for this experiment you will need a glass try taking a bigger glass so you will be able to see what's happening then here i'm using an egg and after seeing the experiment you will know that you can use any objects so an egg i'm also using a lime lemon and a pencil you will also need some water so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to fill the glass with water do not fill it fully only half the glass i asked you to fill half the glass this is because you need to show the difference in the medium so up to this level it is the water medium and above that is the air medium now you know that when light passes from one medium to another it bends so first i am placing the egg inside so did you see what happens you saw the size of the egg when placed inside the water it appears big because light gets reflected from the egg and travels back to our eyes and when it travels it first has to cross the water medium and after that it has to cross the air medium so when it crosses from one medium to another there is a bending of the light rays causing it to appear bigger in size so now you can see the difference next i'm going to take out the egg and place our next item inside the lemon so you can see the size of the lemon now we can see it in this size because there is only air medium there is no other medium now when i place it in water can you see it looks big you need to look at it from the side it looks big why does this happen i'm sure now you yourself can explain this is because light gets reflected from the surface of the object and it has to travel through two medium it has to travel through water and then through air to reach our eyes so the light rays bend 
causing it to appear bigger. Next, I'm going to place the third object. So I'm removing the line and I'm placing a pencil inside. So now, after placing the pencil, look at it from the side. Now, when you observe from the side of the glass, what do you see? It appears as if the pencil is bent or broken. Why is this happening? This is because the speed of light depends on the density of the medium. Hence, when light travels from a medium of low density, that is air, to a medium of high density, that is water. So when light travels from one medium to another, it appears to bend. Now, this refraction won't occur when you hold the pencil straight and observe from the top of the glass. This is because the light rays enter the water perpendicularly. But when the pencil leans against the glass, you can observe it. This is because light, enters, light rays enter the water obliquely and refraction takes place. So I hope you understood the concept of refraction of light.